story behind it but would you share that with our listeners please yeah yeah certainly it's um yeah well long story um it's uh well if you, if you actually watch the video you can you can sort of see a uh well you, you you can see the story sort of unfold it's um it's uh well well i'll start I'll start from the beginning basically my my older brother is a um he's a footballer um i, I guess for you americans that'll be soccer um, he, he he plays for a, a club called Brentford now, um, but um, but he, he used to play for another club for, called Watford. And, and 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 basically, when he was making the sort of transition from one club to the other, um, he he had a really bad start to his new club, and yeah, like the fans hated him, and yeah, he was just really down. He was just really down on his luck, and you know, and just and yeah, so lots of things going on like that, but. Um, but but yes, but but he managed to sort of knuckle down and just you know train really hard, and managed to sort of turn his season around. And 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 by the end of the season, he was kind of like you know one of the sort of the sort of fans' favourites. And so it's a bit a bit of it's a bit of a rocky sort of story, I guess you know. Right. Um, and um, uh, yeah, and 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 so and 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 with that sort of transition, um, um, he he actually wrote a book to kind of you know about sort of or sports psychology or just psychology in general because he's always he's always taken a big interest in that sort of thing and in fact there's well, one of his idols is um is is uh have you well, you must have heard of uh anthony robbins have you heard of anthony robbins kind yes of, mm-hmm. sort of yeah. motivational guy and he, he, he kind of really likes that stuff um just to you know to just to hype himself up and you know to to, to really get the best the best out of himself because it's quite easy you know in, in lots of things to kind of to take a negative view and 
and, and yeah, and, and not perform to your best. So, um, so anyway, so, yeah, so he wrote a book and, and he sort of came to me and said, you know, he wants to, he wants to do some more promotion for his book and, 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 you know, and, and he wanted a song that, that fits the mood for his book, uh, basically. And, and, and I kind of already had, you know, uh, a lot of the song idea together anyway. And, 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 and I guess I was kind of, um, I guess it was, yeah, from, from his story that kind of inspired me to write the lyrics, but I've, but I, I kind of took a lot of things from my own life to, to put into it as well. Cause you know, I'm, I'm quite guilty of, you know, gonna go going up and down, you know, one minute I'll be all hyped up and trying to, trying to push music. And the next minute I'll kind of, you know, just, just, you know, almost be ready to give up. You know, I'm quite, I kind of flip back and forth all the time. And so, so in this song, I kind of put, you know, so some of the things he was going through and some of the things I go through, you know, just with, just trying right. to try, 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 try to stay positive and and yeah and that's the kind of the story behind the song just 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 trying to yeah have a new state of mind whenever you're down just trying to just try, try, trying to get yourself out of a rut and just just be positive and and yeah just and and yeah a lot, a lot and, and a lot of the lyrics are all about being your own worst enemy and you know it's you know you, you have the power to kind of turn you to turn things around so right. so, it's, so that's so that's the story of the song and um and yeah if you watch the video you can kind of see the the, the story unfold of, of his season and um and it, ha it has it has some real press cl uh, it has some real um uh, press clippings from from the newspapers of of the story so that's quite nice you know at the, at the beginning it's kind of saying you know lee is terrible and all this sort of stuff and by the end it's kind of you know like lee is the hero sort of thing so um so yeah so that's the story in a nutshell i guess <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh, I love music that or songs that come up with things from real life and and they're positive and that's what you've done with that song and and it would make a difference in a lot of people's lives if they just you know base it on what you're saying in the song and not necessarily about you or your brother but just the yeah. positiveness and and believing in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself nobody else is going to believe in you. But it, yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, it's uh, it's 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 a it's a theme I like quite a lot. So you know, I've, I think I've got some other songs on the way with a similar sort of theme. You know, I was kind of when I was writing that one, I was inspired to write lots of other songs. So so expect to hear some more songs. You know, on on a similar sort of you know level, I guess. Right. <laughs> well, you're working on a new EP now, right? Yeah, yeah. I've you know I've, I've taken on a few things. I was I was, I was just going to do a new album, um, but I I ended up kind of um well i've i've got a lot of new songs on the way but um it sort of turns out that um i, I think st uh, sort of uh style stylistically um i think i was i was becoming a bit too broad with the songs i was having cuz you know so on 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 what some days i just want to be uh, I, I just want to sort of sing pop songs and stuff like that and then and then the next day i kind of flip and now and i think no i want to play some heavy music so i kind of I keep on chopping and changing from heavy to 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 more pop chilled out sort of stuff and so so I, I had a big batch of songs and it was you know I'd, I'd have one song that would be sort of heavy progressive sort of you know big eight eight minute you know like long sort of song and then the next song would be a pop song and it was and they were becoming a bit too yeah diverse to sort of put together on on the same sort of project so 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 what I'm doing is I'm I'm do yeah I'm working on this EP first. Um, in fact, next week I've cleared my schedule so I can um, just ho hopefully I'll, I'll be able to get it finished next week. Actually, that's what, that's, that's what the plan oh, is. Oh, that would be great. And yeah. and, 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 and and that's going to be kind of a similar vein to New State of Mind. It's kind of just showing more of my sort of youthful side. And in fact, that's the kind of sort of stuff you know I was doing ten years ago. And, and so so New State of Mind is kind of a it's me revisiting that sort of style that I used to do a lot when I was younger. You know, mm -hmm. sort of really rocking it up. Um, and so since then, I've kind of yeah done lots of other stuff. In fact, my last album wasn't quite as heavy. That was a bit more, um, well, yeah, I can't really describe it. But you know, it, it, <laughs> it, it, you know, it had pop elements. Had yeah, it's a little bit of in, indie style to it as well. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I kind of went off and did that. Whereas before, I was always doing rock, you know, quite heavy stuff. So, but I, so I guess I'm just kind of with this EP. I'm just kind of re, just re revisiting that style and sort of get. Um, I guess I'm just sort of uh, going to get it out of my system, you know, just have a good sort of good bash of just rock songs, <laughs> be quite heavy, and then and then after that, then I'll be, you know, I've got another album on the way, which is going to be, um, yeah, I'm going to be quite ambitious with it. I want it to be very sort of poppy. Uh, I've got, yeah, you know, all, all sorts going on. I've got um, there's going to be lots of brass, going to be yeah, lo lo lots of instruments, lots of stuff going on. So, 
but that's quite a big project so I'm, so I hope that might take me a while so I'm, so hopefully if I get this EP done that would you know um it should give fans something to to you know to keep them occupied for the minute for, uh, oh, for, until yeah. the next one right uh, until the next one yeah <laughs> do you have a name for this EP yet um no I'm that's, yeah I've been really struggling with that I've I'm, yeah, I'm I'm really struggling. I'm, I'm, I was I was thinking today because it's going back to my roots. I was thinking roots revisited, but I don't know. I, I probably might scrap that. I don't know. So I'm not sure. I'll, I'll have to. I, I I I might even put it on Facebook and see what people think, and you know, then give me some names and something because I'm yeah. I'm struggling at the minute. And you know, but, fans uh, like doing that too, helping choose names or help you know choosing like the cover of an album or or something like that. They they enjoy doing that. Yeah, I think I think I might do that because I'm yeah I'm I I really struggle for names and and a, a, anything like that is yeah yeah so I'm 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 good at when it comes just to music but anything else you know like the yeah when there's decisions on names or decisions on artwork or any of that stuff that's kind of that stuff I'm always confused I can never decide on so it's it's good if I yeah if I get a, a, another opinion on that stuff right and Mel is good at that so I'm sure she'd be happy to help you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now, how do you choose which song you want to release as a single off an album or an EP? Um, well, yeah, I, I, I probably, well, I, I certainly have my own favorites, but yeah, I'm, I'm these days, I'm quite happy to sort of get people's opinions and yeah, so just play it to friends and family or just yeah, a, a, anyone like that, and just sort of see see what they think. Um, whereas I probably in the past was probably just like you know, like very. Just you know, I, I probably just did what I, I wanted to do, but I think I think I'm willing to sort of see see what people think and just you know to see which is the the ones that people like because it's sometimes it's it's, it's 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 different to what I like. Sometimes you know, but, but right. being, being a musician, I'm probably more into the ones that are kind of you know over the top and busy and complicated, whereas someone else will probably be into the ones which are just you know straightforward and simple and you know more catchy, I guess. But that's so true. Yeah, I was just going to say it has to be catchy to. A lot of times when people, you know, listen to music, they're going to go towards the one that they can, you know, either dance to or sing to or, you know, whatever catches their ear with the sound or the music or the lyrics. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, What's your favorite song out of all that you've written? Um, so far that I've released, um, oh, um Hmm, hard question. I mean, I've, I've, well, probably my probably my favourite songs are the ones I'm working on at the minute. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm you know, because I always think that the latest stuff is always more fresh and it's always more exciting. But, mm-hmm. but, but from the from the batch I've had, I mean, I, I I do really like New State of Mind. I was quite proud of that one. Um, and I don't know, uh, hard question. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, maybe I'll ask I, you I, again I, I, after your EP's released. <laughs> 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 But I, I don't know. I think, yeah. No, I, I think I'll probably just go a new state of mind because, yeah, I think it was it was done well. I think and yeah, very I think well. It, yeah, well, yeah. I think um, and I think um, on even though I do like my album, I think I've kind of I've I mean, I, well, I, I, I released it in two thousand nine, but I finished it in in two thousand eight. So it's, it's been quite a while since I've finished it, and and I think now I've had a, I've had a few more years of gigging, and and I think I've kind of you know my uh well my 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 playing my guitar playing has got better a bit you know a little bit but um mm-hmm. but i think i think my voice has got better and so i'm probably more proud of the the sort of vocal performance on it and and so so yeah probably new state of mind at the minute but but watch this space for for, for some new songs which will um hopefully uh uh well uh, will will hopefully be better hopefully well what emotions run through you when you finish an ep or an album so I say again, what emotion runs through Yes, me? what emotions run through you when you finish an EP or an album? Is it a, a feeling of relief, a feeling of happiness? I would imagine probably. 